Hello guys and welcome back to my channel and today's video I will be sharing yung mga subjects na natake ko during my first year sa nursing and also I will be sharing na din kung ano ba yung mga pwede yung expect in that kind of subjects and the like. So without further ado, let's get started. So first one is the History 100, Ravings in the Philippine History. So this one is not a major subject, minor lang siya, pero uh, it weighs three units, so malaki pa rin. And ayun, um, it tackles or they will going just to introduce you the um, different facets of um, Philippine history. And also you will encounter the um, different revolution on how they start the revolution as well and um, why they came up with that revolution and uh, they were going to um, share then the um, the primary sources, secondary sources like yung mga pinag-aaralan din nung before nung high school like sa araling panlipunan we will um, still tackle that but in a deeper deeper way and mas specific na siya na subject Next subject is Math 100, Mathematics in the Modern World with Bias Statistics. So many of you asking me na, may mathematics ba sa, ano, sa nursing, ganyan? So yes, the answer is yes. And um, this is not too hard naman. Kasi, if you love math. Pero ano, um, more of problem solving lang naman siya. And mga probabilities, statistics, ganyan. And you will also encounter yung mga pagpindupindot sa calculators. Ayun, parang masaya lang siya kasi um, you will explore your calculator itself. Like, ma... ma um, madi-discover mo kung paano siya isolve ng mas madali through calculator. But, yeah, yung mahirap lang is yung i-memorize on the step-by-step -step kung paano mo palabasin yung um, form or formula dun sa calculator na ganun. Ayun. Pero, um, overall, this is very exciting subject and um, you will learn a lot about this and it will help you soon. So, next one is MC1 Biochemistry and here, super ganda nito kasi you will um, learn a lot about life and chemistry. So, how they react on each other, how they are connected to each other and ayun, um, you will learn how how red blood cells um, became isotonic, hypertonic, ganyan. And um, you will also encounter the urine and the differences of urine and blood ng um, being alkalinic and acidic, ganyan. And you will um, see the differences of being alkalinic and acidic sa mga um, colors and the like. So, this subject will introduce different kinds of chemicals on you, different solutions and even formulas na pwede mong gamitin in time. So, ayun guys. Next one is MC1A. This is the biochemistry laboratory and this is the subject na kung saan um, ma-apply mo lahat ng learnings mo ng mga biochemistry lectures and um, you will really encounter the actual um, formations ng mga solutions na experiments na gagawin mo. You will going to see and observe different kinds of formations and you will really actually see the the changes kapag nagkaroon na ng changes and you will see the the real um, isotonic and hypertonic blood na formation and the like. So, marami ka talaga makikita rito sa um, biochemistry love and super super duper na exciting siya kasi um, you will go into use all of your R's to consume only your experiment in that kind of subject. So, uh, MC2, which is the anatomy and physiology, this is the how the human body and how the organs is um, functioning and yeah super ganda nito kasi you will learn how they how important the 
small organs, the small parts of the body. Talagang dig nyo deeper pa yung mga um, pinapag-aralan nyo sa mga visible hanggang sa pinaka super not visible anymore na mga parts ng body, mga cells, neurons, ganyan. You will see how um, how important they are, how important their roles in the body and you will really realize na kailangan mong alagaan talaga yung, yung function and yung body mo as it's soul. And ayun guys, so dito sa Anafisio you will encounter uh, different types of systems, mga ganyan. And yun yung itatakal nyo one by one hanggang matapos yung semester and also um, sa Anafisio then you talagang you have to prepare yourself dahil maraming memorizations dyan. The muscle, the names of the muscles, the name of the bones, and the like. So, maraming parts na kailangan yung i-memorize. The MC2A, the Anatomy and Physiology Laboratory. This is very good. This is just like lecture pa rin. Pero dito kasi, you will make more drawings, mga ganyan, and you will answer um, modules. And also, um, dito rin, kapag nag, nag karoon kayo ng performance, and assessment sa napag-aralan ninyo. Parang, you will really actually see yung yung parts talaga. Like, may mga prototypes din naman ang school na, na, kunwari, skeletal system. Ayun. So, parang, kapag, kunwari, tinuro ng teacher mo, anong part ta? So, you have to say what name or what part is that ng inyong muscle, ganyan. So, super ganda niya kasi if you are actually learning lang ng anak, anak isyo, Parang hindi mo siya talagang ma-realize ma kasi kapag nakita mo siya in real person, parang ganito pala, ganito pala yung itsura niya. Like, ibang-iba kapag doon sa mga animated videos, ganyan. And minsan malilito ka rin kasi hindi ganun yung mukha niya doon sa animated and sa real na life na structure. So, mas maganda talaga yung unofficial na love kasi doon mo talaga makikita yung mga actual parts ng body and the like. Next one is NCM 100. This is um, theoretical foundation of nursing. This is very good um, foundation talaga if you are a nursing student. Kasi um, you will encounter the different theories. Um, sila Florence Nightingale, Mandeline Leininger, and their theories itself. Yung mga environmental model, ganyan, ganyan. So, super ganda ng mga ng subject na to kasi um, you will learn hindi mo alam na minsan yung mga theories nila you will need them pala in real life situation and it will help you a lot kapag super ganda ng foundation mo when it comes to this subject so ayun guys so parang dun lang tuturuan lang ng mga basic na foundation ng nursing mga theories nila ha, on how you will going to deal with your patients ganyan and the like PE 1 and is uh, physical education 1 and you will encounter a lot of dances here and Zumba, ganyan. Yung mga, mga basic lang na ginagawa nyo din nung mga grade 11 kayo, grade 12, ayun. So, ayun guys. So, ganun lang. And also the aerobic and anaerobic exercises, you will encounter also that. Psych 100. So, sa Psych 100 is understanding the self and you will encounter different um, philosophies, ganyan, how they explain or how they define self and ayun. So, it will also gain um, understanding in yourself, your confidence and then encounter then the lesson on how how important yourself, how how important the voices of others or opinion of others to yourself, to your self-image, ganyan, and how you will going to respond on them. So, ayun, maraming, basta more of reflections lang in your own self itong subject na to. Paksay 100, this is the art appreciation and um, super ganda ng subject na to kasi you will encounter different kinds of arts you will critic the arts of other people, yung mga tanyag na tao, and as well as you will know how to appreciate them. And also you will encounter the music, how, how music revolved from 
um, this era up until this kind of generation and also um, you will see how how they revolve the 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 art itself from this prehistoric era up until in this year of generation so and that's all for the first semester pero um when we move here in second semester another subject and this is um english 100 the purposive communication so in purposive communication this is the subject verb ag agreement ganyan and ano pa ba yung mga cultural relativism ethnocentrism mga ganyan na um topics and as well as yung different kinds of how you pronounce this kind of words ayan so they will go just to um, parang review lang ng english subject mo since grade 1 and up until now next one is the history 101 the life of rizal or the life and works of rizal so um, this subject is very interesting because we ha we know we have known result before, pero not that so deeper pa. Pero in this subject, you will encounter um, his life and the, his works as well. Hindi lang yung mga tanyag niyang works na El Fili and mga um, noli metanghere. Pero um, marami siyang kinds of works and how how he lived before how. Um, ano ba yung way of life niya in survive and the like. So, yung mga ganun, about more of Frizzle lang talaga yung mga tao na nakasama niya, family um, backgrounds niya, ganun. And we have our MC3, the Microbiology and Parasitology Lecture. Um, this subject is more of Ayan, you will encounter different kind of bacteria, viruses, ganyan, protozoans, yung mga, mga different kinds of names ng mga bacteria and viruses. And super ganda nito kasi um, we are in the pandemic right now. And ayun, parang before nagkaroon ng pandemic, parang mas na, mas na open na yung mind ko about this kind of viruses and mga bacteria, kung saan ba sila nakikita kung paano ba sila patayin, ganyan. So, ayun guys. Another one is the MC3, MC3A na subject which is the microbiology and parasitology um, lab naman siya. So, sa lab, you will going to culture um, bacteria, ma-expose ma, ma ka sa mga ganyang mga activities and also sa more of sa activities lang sa labs talaga and ayun parang super ganda kasi ma-open yung mind mo about this kind of creatures na um, may ganito palang bagay na kahit hindi mo pala nakikita nakakapinsala pala siya ng tao so we also have this NCM 101A the health assessment theory so dito mo ma-encounter kung paano ka mag kisala muha sa patient on how will you going to diagnose the illness of that patient how will you going to assess that patient from head to toe kung adults yan kung, ma kung baby yan kung teenager yan or anything na particular na age parang may certain na specific na normal for every age for assessment and ayun yung tinuturo talaga sa inyo and also the um, nursing process and the um, planning of um, on how will you going to deliver your plan your actions or implementation sa inyong nursing care plan so have our NCM 101A. This is the health assessment RLE and you will going to actually apply all the learnings into skill. Para dito ka na mag return ng demonstration kung paano mo ba i-assess yung eyes, i-assess yung ears, i-assess yung neck, yung back ng patient, ganun. So, um, lahat ng assessment na pwedeng gawin for the patient, you will going to do that in health assessment RLE. CM102, which is the health education. Sa health education kasi, um, tuturuan ka dito on how to make a nursing care plan for one, 
one group of certain people or a society and um, you will going to literate them in terms of health, ganyan, lalo na sa mga restricted areas or they are having a lack of health education. And ayon, parang tuturuan ka on how will you going to deliver that kind of teaching plan, teaching plan to them on how to be effective um, teacher to these people, sa mga hand washing, ganyan, mga simple gene of a person. So yun. This actually helps you sa nursing care plan you in the future kapag sa hospital setting na kayo. Siyempre, there are people na um, nagkakasakit because of lack of health education and um, at least if you have a knowledge or foundation of that education then you will going to deliver it very good to people and you will going to actually achieve your nursing care plan and we have our NCM 103 the fundamentals of nursing practice theory this is a lecture part and dito yung parang sa fundamentals of nursing practice. bring back ulit yung Florence Nightingale, yung mga environmental model, Madeline Leininger, Healthy Guard Pet Plow, ganyan. Sila Sister Calista Roy. Yung mga taong yan, ma-involve ulit dito. But, um, mas larger na. Meron na tayong mga ethical principle on how you will going to decide in that kind of particular situation. Meron din yung law of ethics, sa law of human, um, how you will going to um, deal with that kind of situation if it's a matter of death. And um, dito din itatakal yung being negligence of a, of a nurse, ganyan, mga case analysis din. And, and super exciting ng part na to kasi you will encounter different kinds of patients and um, macha-challenge ka talaga kung paano mo ba ididil yung patients na to, paano mo ididil yung situation ng patient na to and the like. In NCM 103, the fundamentals of nursing practice pa rin, pero RLE siya. And dito yung skills, skills nyo on how you will going to deliver the, the learnings that you learn. And um, dito yung matututunan nyo kung paano ba i-transfer yung patient from wheelchair to bed, how you will going to a bed bad to the patient, paano ka ba magkakaroon ng, alam mo yun, yung pag-care talaga sa patient, and also paano mo um, ita-transfer yung patient sa, sa stretcher, ganyan, paano yun kapag mat malaki yung patient mo, hindi mo kaya paano mo siya transfer So, dyan lahat yung skills and the strategies matututunan nyo on how to um, also um, give bed bath, um, full bed bath, mga ano pa ba, yung mga hand hygiene na pwedeng hindi magawa ng patient dahil um, they are, parang alam mo yun, hindi sila makagalaw, ganyan. So, ikaw yung gagawa ng mga dapat nilang gawin. So, yung mga daily activity nila in life. So, ayun, parang hygiene, mga um, shampooing your patient, yung foot batting, ganyan. So, lahat yun, matatakal nyo dyan sa subject na yun. Um, the next one end, is the PE, which is physical education 2. PE 2 is um, more of sa taekwondo, ano pa ba, arnis. So, yung mga yan, Diyan, mga aerobic exercises and aerobic, ganun pa rin. So, um, tuturuan ka kung paano mag-taekwondo, paano mag- yung mga proper posture ng taekwondo player, yung paano ka magkakaroon ng self-defense, how you will going to um, you use arnis as a self-defense, as um, taekwondo as a self-defense, ganyan. So, doon, ituturo kayo. And yun lang naman, dun lang naman umiikot yung sa PE natin. And, yeah. So, I think yun lang din yung um, masishare ko sa inyo na subjects ko this year 2019 to 2020 ng mga first year um, nursing. Kasi yun lang din yung nakuha ko. And ayun, so if you have any questions or any clarifications about that um, mga subjects na yan, then um, you can comment down below kung ano yung mga uh, mga inquiries nyo pa about nursing ganyan so dun lang pwede lang kayong mag comment sa down or you can contact me and I will link down below kung ano yung mga pwede nyong 
um, you can connect with me in my social medias like Instagram and Facebook. But uh, yeah, so yun. Um, thank you so much for watching and I hope that I give you the best that I can and the, the lessons and and wait lang pala kasi I have to review this lapel or microphone kasi I bought this on Shopee it is only 90 pesos lang ata and ayun um, very good naman yung yung sound di ba kasi unlike before yung mga una kong mga mga vlogs hindi masyadong marinig yung voice and pero dito mas nagiging um, loud and clear yung voice ko and also mas nabawasan yung noisiness sa sa mga dumadaan na sasakyan and the like. So, I feel it's so good and I also um, saw this one sa vlog ni Ate Abigail. So, you can check another review about this one if you want to buy this and I will down link below na lang sa description yung um, link ng Shopee para um, in case na want yung bumili, then you can go there. And I just want to shout out then pala kay Z. This is my friend and she is also a vlogger. She's my classmate pala. And ayun, um, you can check her channel as well. And yeah. So thank you guys for watching and see you on my next vlog. Goodbye!